So Alaska Cares is the child advocacy center that serves the Anchorage area and also statewide when we have complex cases. The main services we provide are mental health services for children, lots of follow-up with families and uh, support for the non-offending caregivers. It's our job not with the physical location or the decorations or the teddy bears we have sitting around to make it child friendly. It's our job as a team to create an environment where children walk through the door and they feel welcomed. They feel like um, they will be listened to and believed. They feel joy. I think it's something that is tangible for children. They're very perceptive. And a lot of these kids are coming from environments where it's the polar opposite, where it's dysfunction, it's violence, it's um, harm to them on an ongoing basis. We had an eight-year-old little girl, I'll call her Janie, that came into CARES and disclosed being sexually abused by her neighbor. It's memorable because she provided information to the team that not only was she abused, um, she finally worked up the courage to tell the perpetrator no and left, and left the room. The really difficult part about her story is she left her uh, little sister in the room with the perpetrator. She started out working with our therapist and did a drawing, and it was just a scribble drawing of all the colors she didn't like. And she didn't really uh, title that, but she basically said it was anger, fear, frustration, um, hurt, and guilt. About six months into therapy, she provided another drawing which was a a black drawing with an X on it, Uh, and she labeled this drawing guilt. It was roughly six months of therapy. She was able to get through all these other emotions and really pinpoint the emotion that she needed to deal with, and that was guilt of leaving her sister behind to be abused by the same man that abused her. A couple months before discharge, she drew this uh, very beautiful drawing of a sun, green grass, I think there's a couple um, sheep on there, blue sky, and and labeled that one peace. So it was really a a pretty powerful, um, from the beginning of the process when she came into CARES, told her story, the investigation happened, and then her walking through the process of healing to identify her emotions and then deal with the one that was really the root of what she needed to deal with to start that healing process. is a pretty powerful um, story of a, a child that we've we've served at, at CARES. So there is hope for healing, right? Yes, a- absolutely. We believe that 100% because we've, we've seen it. Yes, there's absolutely hope for healing. <laughs>